In this presentation, we will take a look at options for recording insurance payments. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We will have two options we can use for a bookkeeping system for the recording of insurance payments. The reason insurance payments is even an issue, in other words, why isn't it just as easy as this to record insurance payments? We see the payment out of the bank account. We decrease the bank account in the check register and record the other side to insurance expense. Well, our first option is that easy. We basically can record everything as an expense. This, however, usually isn't the appropriate option for an accrual-based system. And that's because insurance by its nature means that we're going to pay for the insurance before we get coverage. And if we only pay like monthly for insurance, then it's still pretty close. Meaning if I pay for January at the end of December for the next month's worth of insurance, then it's still pretty close and we're paying each month. So it's probably okay to be on a cash basis. It won't distort things too much. However, if we pay for an entire year's worth of insurance or multiple months, like a quarter uh, of insurance, three months worth of insurance, then it, we could have a significant difference in terms of when we pay for insurance as opposed to when we uh, are incurring the insurance. So on an accrual basis, then what we should do is allocate the insurance over that time period that we're using it for. Now, for tax purposes, it could get a little bit more confusing because we don't know if we're on an accrual basis or, or a cash basis or how we should deal with insurance possibly from a tax planning standpoint. So it really depends on what the books are needed for for the customer to know which method would be best to use. So from our perspective then on the bookkeeping side, if we're on this cash basis method, the easiest thing for us to do would be to just pay the insurance and record it to insurance expense. Now, again, if it's monthly, that might not be too difficult to do and that would be fairly easy. And we could just do this and then tell the bookkeeper, hey, there's insurance expense and tell our client to provide the, the accountant, the accountant at the end of the year, the tax preparer to, to do the adjusting entries or us do the adjusting entries at the end, end of the month or a year for an adjustment that needs to, any adjustment that would need to be made for insurance related adjustments. And that would be, for example, if we made a large payment for insurance basically at the end of the year, then should on an accrual basis, we shouldn't have the entire expense at that point in time. We should take it out and put part of it as a prepaid. We could allow the accountant to make that adjustment at year end. So that's one method we could use. Now, the second method we could use is to, to put all the insurance payments in an account called prepaid insurance. And this is actually kind of the more proper method to use. We can Either of these methods, we can then depend on the accountant at the end of the year to make any adjustments that would be necessary. But if, for example, we, we notice the payments are large in dollar amount, then it's probably the case that the payments are for multiple time periods, a year or at least a quarter. And therefore, it would be more proper for us to put them into a prepaid insurance. And it's kind of easier normally for the accountant then or the adjustments to be made at the end of the year. So this is the way you're supposed to do it most of the time. So when we set up, the reason this way is a little bit easier is because if we are on a cash basis, then this will be kind of the, it'll be correct to do this. This will basically be the cash basis method. And when we set up an account in QuickBooks, it'll default to insurance expense. In fact, QuickBooks will probably have an insurance expense in the chart of accounts. The reason this one is more proper is because it kind of indicates to the bookkeeper or the adjusting department at the end of the year, hey, this is one of the adjustments you need to take a look at as we do every time period. And it's easier to look at those really on the balance sheet side. So we see the balance sheet prepaid insurance. We need to determine how much has expired and write that off. So we'll look at the pros and cons of these two methods as we record them. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.